Uh, I am Professor Bhubadi from uh, Bharatiya University, retired in 2013. Whatever the work that I am presenting, especially on uh, molecular biology of the BCHE protein, uh, is carried out by me in, in, uh, in and around 2010. So today's topic is uh, genetic variation on BCHE gene and their associated prolonged apnea. Although I will not ponder over uh, the associated activities and the clinical pathological symptoms on prolonged opinia, I will be concentrating much on genetic variant of a BCHE gene. So why this BCHE gene is important is uh, our future medicine, uh, especially on uh, pharmacogenetics, what we are calling it as personalized medicine is essentially based upon the Human Genome Project, which was unfolded uh, exactly uh, at the beginning of this century. Because of this, we are able to pair a particular drug to a particular gene. That is how the personalized medicines is unfolded. Uh, especially this pharmacogenetics uh, deals with uh, opioid peptides and opioid compounds on post-operative and perioperative analgesic compounds. Over this subject, uh, the clinical guide guidelines for selectable actionable drugs with the gene pair is studied by different organizations which are listed. About uh, 10 different uh, websites are available in which NIH is funding under the category of IGNITE program where more scientists are benefited uh, by carrying out the research. Apart from this, uh, different countries, especially Dutch, Canadian, and European countries are having their own uh, website, which deals with uh, this pharmacogenetics. Overall, online database, several online databases are available, which you are calling it as uh, Pharma GKB. So this is about uh, the literature that is available on pharmacogenetics which is the future medicine. Now coming to the topic, the real physiological functions of human BCHE. As such, when you talk about the BCHE, uh, whose name is otherwise known as uh, pseudocholine esterase, whose function is still unknown, that is the reason why it is called a pseudoenzyme of acetylcholine esterase. Since uh, it has got a similar structure as that of the acetylcholine esterase, uh, it is considered as a detoxifying enzyme. Whatever the compound that are used essentially as anticholinesterases or warfare agents, which are specific on uh, the cholinergic acetylcholinase enzyme, enzyme uh, is spared by the action of the BCHE enzyme. In the in vitro system, the BCHE enzyme uh, is uh, identified with the three different categories of uh, activities. They are called esterase activity, aryl, acyl, amidase activity, which hereafter I will be calling it as triple A activity and the peptidase activity. Whatever the real physiological function that will be henceforth ascribed for the BCHE protein will be based upon these three different functions. How far the BCHE is important in comparison to the ACHE is Although ACHE is universally known to be involved in the cholinergic system, the butyl cholinesterase or BCHE enzymes by virtue of having, having differ, different and broad specificity, specificity as that of the acetylcholinesterase is getting important. The one unique feature is uh, the total absence of BCHE is also known in the human system who are all leading their life uh, as that of any other normal people. However, a specific physiological function is off late in 2015 or so is proposed by Mayo Clinic of USA, namely grihalin hydrolase enzymes. Usually, the, if a high level of BCHE enzymes is there in the particular system, those people uh, will be uh, uh, in uh, those people in which grihalin is a compound which is involved in, uh, hungry, in hunger, food seeking, stress, anxiety, fear and aggression are involved. As long as uh, grihalin is there, they will show stress, anxiety. 
but when the grigaline is hydrolyzed they will show poor stress anxiety will be poor they will not take much food which means uh, by increasing the activity of the bche enzyme we can increase the grigaline hydrolase thereby the availability of the grigaline active grigaline is may not be there thereby we can reduce the stress this is what they proposed the mayo clinic of usa has proposed so which is going to come it is in the phase 3 clinical trial which will be available uh, in another 10 years of time apart from this uh, of course uh, today's talk is about uh, succinyl choline apnea for which uh, this enzyme is used as a risk monitoring marker this is uh, the broad uh, function of the bche with respect to the apnea coming to the existence of the bche if you see the bche enzymes is formed in the liver and once it is formed in the liver and then it is distributed throughout the body especially it is much more uh, in uh, the human serum or that is the reason why this enzyme is called serum enzyme or serum acetylcholinesterase acetylcholinesterase enzyme as i said already already the bche enzyme is considered to protect the body against the insecticide and anticholinesterases even among uh, these two different categories uh, if you consider the anticholinesterase agents uh, which will be very specific anticholinesterase which will be very specific against the acetylcholinesterase while insecticides and other things uh, uh, and other things uh, action will be different that is the reason why we can classify now agents uh, from the opioid peptide now agent although acting on the acetylcholinesterase the opioid peptide opioid peptide will be, will have a different specificity when compared to the acetylcholinesterase which we will not talk about uh, uh, further All, all this uh, action of the bche enzyme either on the nerv nervous agent or organopesticide poisoning is mainly attributed to the ester hydrolysis property of the butylcholinesterase this is the enzyme which is deficient in the muscle relaxant especially muscle re relaxant uh, apnea where succinylcholine completely inhibits the acetylcholinesterase because the bche enzyme is not sparing or bche enzyme is not coming to the rescue of the acetylcholinesterase enzyme coming to the deficiency distribution uh, about 1 uh, in 5000 people 1 in 5000 people are uh, commonly uh, uh, detected in the american population but however this ratio is much more in persian jewish community and alaska natives especially eskimos now uh, our lab has identified one silent mutant which has got 24% of one particular community one ethnic community are showing the silent variant because of this finding we are joining with persian jews and alaska natives where the deficiency distribution is about 24% when compared to the european or caucasian population elsewhere apart from this uh, deficiency marker the bch is also say, a sensitive marker for liver cirrhosis over which we have got publication so i will be presenting one more slide how the bch enzyme is important of late in 2020s uh, the bche enzyme is also uh, implicated with uh, covid-19 pneumonia severity and mortality then apart from this uh, the physiological and pharmacological uh, pharmacological factor is uh, f f factors of this bche is associated with alcoholism and obesity so yet another one important factor uh which has been published in 2022 2022 in the uh, journal called biomolecules where since this bche protein may act as a wilson's disease wilson's disease in which a copper will be deposited throughout the body and this is mainly because of uh, the derangement 
the derangement of the bche enzyme where the bche enzyme is acting as a best marker for the identification of the wilson disease these are all the overall physiological functions of the butyl cholinesterase enzyme as we know today then in what way this bche enzyme is, is important in succinyl choline apnea so for this we have to understand we have to know about uh, the acetyl choline in the now muscle so the bottom b figure uh, which you are seeing is the uh, muscle always the muscle will be in the polarized state of uh, having minus 70 millivolt whenever the action potential is received from the axon or the nerve the muscle will be contracted by depolarization what we are calling it as action potential is set in this is mainly facilitated by uh, the sodium influx from sodium influx to the muscle cell at the expense of potassium explet this is facilitated by the axon pre synaptic acetylcholine release at the synaptic cleft the figure a shows the pre synaptic cleft from where the blue circles are the acetylcholine that are released uh, to the muscle for the contraction this acetylcholine is uh, suitably received by the nicotinergic receptor enzyme which are at the surface of the muscle which triggers the action potential what we have seen in the b, b slide once the purpose is over the acetylcholine uh, will be hydrolyzed by the acetylcholinesterase which is shown as ache enzyme this is what we know about uh, acetylcholine role in muscle contraction coming to where comes the succinyl choline when you consider the acetylcholine in the next slide the acetylcholine structure and succinyl choline structures are given at the right hand side where the acetylcholine has got one uh, acetyl group and one choline group linked by the ester linkage you can see the you can see at the right hand side the succinyl choline in which two choline are linked to succinate thus the succinyl choline has got two dicholine in fact the name of this is the succinyl dicholine this was originally discovered in 1906 but however the nobel prize for uh, daniel bovet who lived till 1992 uh got the nobel prize only in 1957 for his finding namely muscle relaxant not only he found the succinyl choline as a muscle relaxant but also along with that he found out the several amine compounds which are acting as a nervous system they are galamine and antihistamine in fact the original succinyl choline developed by the scientists is still available in the rome one of the exhibition whose figure is also given at the top so that means the villain in our the whole presentation today is the succinyl choline and the hero is the butyl cholinesterase enzyme how this action of butyl cholinesterase on succinyl choline is taking place in the uh, violet background where succinyl dicholine is acted upon by the bche enzyme to succinyl monochloride plus choline and once the succinyl monocholine is released then the release of uh, succinate and choline will take a longer time that is how the injected or endogenously available succinyl dicholine is reaching the uh, now ending thereby it interferes with acetylcholine as a competitive inhibitor that is the reason why those people where in the plasma cholinesterase is much less are deficient wherein this reaction which is given on the right hand side is not taking place hence that succinyl dicholine or succinyl monocholine are both the things may may be passed on to the now ending where Uh, continuous muscle contraction is taking place because of this succinyl choline 
when you are talking about the succinyl conine another important uh, uh, pharmacological or clinical or pathological condition is uh, malignant hyperthermia abbreviated as mh so this is also occurring whenever the succinyl choline in the volatile form is used what is happening is depicted in the top uh, uh, part you can follow the number 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and so on where the succinyl choline what we saw in the previous slide released from the presynaptic nerve to the post synaptic or the muscle muscle is passed on to the t tubule which interact with the renoid receptor abbreviated as ry r1 so in some of the people this receptor uh, is very very poor and exposure of the volatile compound trigger the sustained opening of this receptor thereby acetylcholine is much more available in the muscle which result in the same condition namely depolarization or muscle contraction occurs so we should not confuse the malignant hyperthermia with the succinyl choline uh, apnea although both the things are uh, clinically uh, identical but however uh, the anesthesiologist are aware of this and where the propofol and remifentanil compounds are used in the malignant hyperthermia but such kind of drugs are not developed for succinyl choline apnea okay can now coming to the our hero namely the butyl cholinesterase enzyme so normally at the bottom of the slide you can see uh, where the woman will always show a little bit lower activity so the normal value will be 7 uh, 7 kilo unit so that means 7000 units per liter of plasma in the men it will be little bit more the average will be 8 to 9 uh, 8 to 9 kilo units per liter of the plasma so when compared to the acetylcholine state the bch enzyme in the plasma is 10 times more in reality the quantum is given as the fourth column was 15 nanomolar of bch enzyme as i said already this enzyme is formed in the liver and it will be in the plasma for about 10 to 14 days after that it will be subjected to the ubiquitinization so that means a constant flow of enzyme from the liver has to be maintained however the major physiological factor that will reduce this bch activity is uh, whenever the liver injury occurs or postnatal factors or dystrophy disease burn or malignancy or hypothermia or ure uremia and even in pregnancy these are the some of the physiological conditions where the quantum of bch level will be decreased and the second thing is whenever people are subjected to anticholinesterase drug or any other drug like contraceptive agents like glucocorticoid or for that matter monoamine oxidase inhibitor esmolol if such compounds are used also this level of the bch enzyme is decreased apart from these two man made or physiological factor the inherited genetic factors also uh, important on which the following slide, slides uh, i will be explaining in some of the people because of the genetic defect this enzyme shows lesser activity when compared to the normal range namely about 8 to 9 kilo units per liter of the plasma this genetic inheritance is passed on from one generation to another generation by autosomal recessive trait the defect lies with one particular gene called butyl cholinesterase that is the hero of our talk today which is uh, expressed from the chromosome 3 of course the, the bche deficiency causes uh, 10 different pathological conditions which are enumerated succinyl succinyl choline apnea this uh, table 
gives a different biochemical method of uh, estimating this bch choline deficiency so that means uh, that there is a direct correlation between the bch enzyme and the relaxation time that is how the biochemical test as such is also indicating the relaxation time and we can find out uh, uh, how long this uh, prolonged apnea will last about 16% of the individuals cannot be detected by the biochemical method which warranted us to go for the molecular biology methods before going to the molecular biology methods uh, we have to understand what is meant by the uh, butyl choline gene and its product as i told already the bch choline is encoded by a single gene of the third chromosome which has got a 73 kilo base pair long as you see in the bottom uh, uh, about 2400 base pair alone is sufficient for the expression of uh, uh, this protein the expression of this protein is carried out by four different exons uh, inter interspaced with uh, three intronic region the majority of the protein is obtained more than two third of the protein component are obtained by exon molecule the result of the protein is given at the bottom left hand corner of the thing where the alpha helical structure beta structure are given and you can see the star you can see the uh, star as s h and e these are the active site when the lower bottom structure denotes the protein structure in the electronic structure or in the computer you can see it uh, uh, as seen here you can see the arrow uh, you, you can see it here diagrammatically this protein can be visualized as a right hand side corner as a circle so this is how we can schematically represent the butyl cholinesterase gene product so that means right hand side bottom corner wherein this uh, active site so please follow the cursor the serine histidine and aspartic acid these are aspartic acid these are the three residues that forms uh, the base of this protein that means uh, in the whole the protein these three residues are essential for its biological activity somehow these three residues please follow the cursor somehow these three residues uh, are modulated for their function by the whole protein which result in the deficiency of its action so how this protein molecule is behaving is given in the next slide namely the function of this protein is altered because of the active site so here i am comparing uh, different regions on the top uh, top portion you can see the exon 2 represent four different category of the silent variant and the exon 4 represent for the k variant today i am going to present one more variant which is proposed by the us people who are working on the butyl choline stays to the exon 1 as such most of the literatures are not telling about the exon 1 role in the bche variant so coming to this variant are given in the table where once upon a time they were called as atypical f1 f2 k and silent variant now instead of that since molecular biology has disappeared where actually the defect is occurring we are calling the respective the butyl choline variant as d70g t2 t243m g390v a a539 t actually this numbers denotes the position of the amino acid in the total 574 or 604 amino acid in the case of uh, uh, precursor the respective amino acids are mutated resulting in such kind of thing 
all these findings were uh, came into the literature only in uh, uh, late 2010 or 2020 this paper uh, is appears in pharmacogenomics and personalized medicine in 2020 so this clearly shows what we called by biochemical classification of the bche variant as a atypical f1 fluoride resistant f2 fluoride resistant k kalo type s1 silent variant all these things are now we know in terms of amino acid change in the protein molecule which result in the deformed protein or decreased activity of the bche enzyme are simply deficiency of bche enzyme that is how the molecular explanation is unfolding today for different level of enzyme activity all these things are today we know all of them are transmitted from one generation to the another generation by autosomal recessive trait and for example atp bche is now we know aspartic acid at the 17th position is replaced to glycine k variant in which alanine is replaced by threonine j variant in which glutamic acid is replaced by valine at 497 and fluoride resistant is uh, threonine is replaced at 247 by methionine glycine at 390 valine that is how at the molecular level what is happening to different variant that they formulated earlier based on the biochemical methods or now we know about at the molecular level what is happening although several mutants about 120 mutants are clinically uh, molecular molecular explanation we can give for about 120 mutant but not all of them are clinically significant only 38 are clinically significant mutant which show undetectable activity of bche enzyme so one thing we should not forget when you are talking about the bche enzyme there are certain human variant uh, what earlier known known as synthenia variant where the increase amount of bche than normal level what they are calling it as c5 variant especially the same bche enzyme when it combines with a certain other protein its activity is increased such kind of protein molecule complex protein molecules are available in synthenia variant people so that means they will show higher level of the bche enzyme another category is johannesburg variant where the bche activity is above normal so that means the bche deficiency alone not contributing in certain people the increased activity is also responsible for certain pathological difference all these things are today explained at the molecular level namely at protein level especially at one amino acid level wherein the total amino acid is about 600 in which specifically by the replacement of one amino acid how this protein conformation is altered namely molecular change occurs how this molecular change result in the total property of the bche enzyme which may result in the complete absence of the enzyme or partial absence or 90% or 70% absent in some of the cases it will be four to five fold much more activity what we are calling it as synthenia variant or johannesburg variant so that means all this bche variant which result in either deficiency or increase activity of this enzyme especially esterase enzymes are mainly due to the molecular conformational change which takes place at the protein level which is denoted by a specific mutation and this is passed on from one generation to another generation by autosomal recessive inheritance into three category one is normal where they will show the normal activity of the enzyme the frequency of this is less than uh, about 0.85% and the qualitatively decreased bche enzymes they are atypical fluoride and silent variant as proposed by biochemical tool today we know at the molecular level what is the mutation that has occurred then quantitative 
so that means quantitatively this protein h j the bottom three line you can see the quantitatively h j and k although the quantum of protein is low the protein as endowed with much more catalytic property hence the activity of the enzyme is much more so that is how the bch enzyme deficiency is qualitatively low activity some of the protein although it is low quantitatively it will it will have a much more catalytic property what we are calling it as quantitative mutant and the other deficient mutant are called qualitative mutant when none of this is we, none of this is there then we call it as normal so to sum up all these things the poor enzyme activity which is uh, more important for today's topic namely succinyl choline apnea this poor enzyme quality enzyme quantity namely in terms of activity is mainly because of the structural change or structural uh, destabilization all these things are happening because of the, the four different site that i have mentioned earlier namely acylation site choline binding site catalytic site and peripheral anionic site these are the four different site whose conformation has to be maintained unfortunately because of the autosomal recessive inheritance certain amino acids in the proteins are changed which alters this four different site which result in the poor performance of the enzyme what we are calling it as enzyme activity or in one line the poor enzyme activity is implicated to structural de destabilization that is how the characterization of bche at the molecular level is correlated uh, to the genetic variant so what we know earlier as a atypical dibucan inhibition or fluoride inhibition all these things we know at the molecular level the k variant of late is now attributed to the alzheimer's disease because the k variant people where the bche enzyme is not in the tetramer or in the active form that is one more uh, face of this protein one more face of the pathological attributes and the j variant is normally 33% uh, less quantum of enzyme is available as we know the silent variant or uh, which we are i am going to talk in the later slide uh, complete absent and the c5 variant is the one what i am telling earlier jogenasberg uh, variant and so on where two to three fold the enzyme activity is observed so several ca further characterization of the bch variant is, is now available all these things are published in 2021 although about 120 mutation mutant are uh, published in different papers the uniport database clearly says clinically significant disease variant are about 38 so it is given in the chronological number where the amino acid change is also reported and the id number everything is given so that means as on date 38 different mutant are clinically significant that means any defect which is given in this figure including the 22 mutant what we have reported leucine replacement leucine is replaced by proline that is our indian mutant is also put in the website all these things are clinically significant that means only these mutant are responsible for the muscle apnea namely succinyl choline sensitive apnea this figure shows uh, the four different variant namely a type fluoride resistant usual type and jogenasberg uh, type increase activity where the minutes of apnea is given a typical one the apnea will last more than an hour but whereas the jogenasberg may not last for more than 10 minutes so that means it is that this figure gives a correlation between different uh, 
BCH deficiency variant to that of the succinyl choline apnea, namely time of apnea that is observed. Uh, the uh, BCH gene, especially exon two, of a particular community where we found that three not seven. Our 307 code on CTT is changed to CCT, resulting in a loose in replacement to the proline. And this we have published. When we analyzed the plasma of those samples in the silent BCHE, we could not find any esterase activity, while the wild type shows four different monomer, dimer, tetramer and the unclassified molecule, everything is uh, available in the wild, uh, wild type of BCHE, whereas in the silent BCHE, it is not there. And off late in 2015, we have, we have analyzed this uh, particular mutant, which we have reported earlier, namely T920C. So that means at the base level, at 920 position, T is replaced with C. So this is popularly known as Indian mutant, which we have reported for the first time in South Indian population, especially the Vaisa community people. Then in 2015, we carried out the heterozygosity distribution in this Vaisa community people. Along with that, we compared with several other ethnic groups about 150 samples were collected from age matched other ethnic communities of Indian origin belonging to South India. On analyzing all these things, we found that preponderance to this particular variant, namely allelic frequency T920C or BCHE 307 loose into proline variant more preponderance to the Vaisa community than the other ethnic community. That means in South Indian population, not all the ethnic communities are showing any mutation or especially this mutation is not at all there while it is concentrated only on the Vaisya community. So this particular piece of evidence shows the vulnerability of the Vaishyas to this mutation. Namely, they carry dominant mutation. So unlike the other ethnic community, the majority of the Vaisa community are not wild. Most of them are carrier. And one interesting finding is among this community, the closed marriages are taking place. That could be the reason for the concentration of the mutant in this community. On analyzing this silent variant mutate, mutations of the Vaisa community, we found all the clinical parameter, blood component, uh, uh, everything is, uh, we could not find any difference between the wild and the silent variant because of the time constraint. I will not go into the detail. So in conclusion of our finding, like the Eskimo po population in Alaska, the Vaisya population of India are showing a preponderance for the silent variant. Although the same kind of variant is not found in our Vaishya community, it is a different uh, population. All these things we have carried out in 2006, about 226 plasma samples from Vaishya community in which nine unrelated individuals show homozygous and all of them are autosomal recessive trait. And as I, as I told already, the DNA sequencing through which we found the codon at 335 for the leucine is replaced by proline is causing the absence of the BCHE enzyme in the serum. All such individuals are homozygous recessive. The frequency of such uh, uh, homozygosity is about 4%. When you compare this frequency, this is 400 fold greater than the other ethnic community of the South India. Further, the age matched other ethnic community do not show any preponderance to this uh, uh, mutation. Only the Vaisa community people are showing the preponderance. The incidence of European or Americans, when you compare one in one lakh, but whereas in our case, it is 24%, sorry, 4%, approximately 4%. These genetic variant individuals are more concerned about their past experience and they will never venture to go to the hospital.
and you can ask one question in the beginning you are telling the mayo clinic of the usa found the physiological property of the bche as grihelin hydrolase what happened to this uh, the, that physiological function in this silent variant probably some other esterases of this individual will take over the function of the bche that is how today we will suggest now the coming to the what is silent about indian bche mutant is here i had given two different pictures where uh, the one is uh, for the bche protein using monoclonal antibody the figure one to uh, the, in the first a figure silent bche plasma 1 2 3 4 and 5 and the six in all these cases the esterase activity as detected by the antibody is uh, not at all visible or very very negligible corresponding to the mo corresponding to the monomeric site whereas the pure wild type of bche shows the, the tetrameric form of the enzyme the same thing is detected in the in other other way also this is using the inhibitor diisopropyl fluorophosphoramide reactive which is not interesting i will skip this coming to this do bche is silent all the time in this people so here on the right hand side corner the 38 different mutation which are clinically significant is given all this clinically significant uh, different uh, mutations are all associated with uh, you can see the left hand side serine 198 histidine 438 and glutamic acid 325 these three residues are altered by this mutation while the upper right hand corner namely glutamic acid histidine and serine are not at all altered in this people and on several papers we have reported this glutamic acid 197 histidine 438 and serine 224 which are associated with aryl acylamidase activities are not at all affected in the bchc silent people that is the reason why in this picture silent bchc in the lane 1 2 3 4 and 5 you can see little hazy appearance of the band so that means some quantity of the bchc protein is there which may be associated with aryl acylamidase activity and what is this aryl acylamidase activity so that means this protein in addition to the esterase activity the the figure shows the left hand side shows the acetyl thiocholine butyl thiocholine where the arrow indicates the esterase function of this enzyme on the substrate a similar kind of bond is also there in the other substrate namely right hand side corner ortho nitro acetonilide this is also acted upon by this enzyme possibly the silent variant people although they are not having the esterase activity namely left hand side hydrolysis they may have this uh, right hand side kind of action what i am calling it as aryl acyl amidase so the take home message is we cannot find out the succinyl choline apnea by bier biochemical method or genetic engineering unless you do the whole genome sequencing then apart from this if you want to test this at the, uh, biochemical method we have to go for some other biochemical method for which i am suggesting why not we assay the aryl acyl amidase activity what i am calling it as triple a activity because this triple a activity associated active site as i given in the right hand side figure triple a where the glutamic acid at 197 histidine at 438 serine at 224 are always intact in all silent variant mutant so that means still it may be functional in the silent variant thus screening of the bchc variant for their aryl acyl amidase activity and their distribution in the human population either in the silent variant or the normal people will throw light on its physiological function thereby shedding its enigmatic nature i will conclude by saying uh, the 
best words of uh, ancien a hundred times every day i remind myself that my inner and outer life depends on the labor of other men living or dead and that i must give in the same order as i received remaining part of my life the more i learn the more i realize how better i know so that means unless we go thoroughly about the activity associated with the different molecular variant of the bchc we will not unravel the mystery associated with the silent or as such the normal bchc protein thank you